Hello, my name is Christopher. Today I'm going to show you how to install Codex Docs on Casa OS uh, using Big Bear Casa OS, a third party app store. Uh, so, a little bit about this series I'm going over Home Labs, they're installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So we will be installing Codex Docs. It makes it to where you can have your own uh, a doc system like this, but it's a free docs app powered by editor.js uh, ecosystem. And that's a block editor. And uh, it just makes it to where you can easily create things in blocks like this. So I'm gonna go backwards and um, Editor.js uh, ecosystem pa powered, a docs nesting, creating any structure you need, nice look on desktop and mobile, a be be beautiful page, a URLs, human re readable and SEO friendly, Hawk is hunting, a a errors track integrated, a, mi a misprints reports to Telegram and Slack, a y Yandex metric, and a deploy easily, no DB and other dependency required. Simple configuration, turn you as you need, and collapsible sections, and hide the sidebar. So this is what we will be installing. It looks neat, and it has a search. It has everything that you need to create a, uh, as many docs as you'd like. So we will be installing uh, Big Bear Casa OS inside of your Casa OS. It's a third-party app store that's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. So um, it, it has quite a few apps. Now it has Codex Docs, which we'll be installing today. And the, 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 how, how to install Big Bear Casa OS uh, down here. But um, I'm going to show you on this video too. So um, you will need a Casa OS 0.4.4 or newer. And um, I'm going to go over to App Store URL over here. And I'm going to copy this. I'm gonna go over to my Casa OS and get this installed so we have the App Store installed. So now I'm gonna be on my Casa OS. I'm going to go to App Store and I'm going to go over to Add Source right here. And a text input pops out. I'm gonna paste in the URL that I copied over in Big Bear Casa OS. I'm gonna press Add. And then now we have 91 apps. So we can go over here and we don't see it yet, but I'm gonna have to refresh the page, go back into the app store, go to Big Bear Casa OS, and then um, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna see all the apps that you can add. We're gonna be adding this one today, but I'm gonna go over to the Docker Compose and show you what it will be installing. So now I'm gonna go over the Docker Compose and what we'll be installing. So I'm gonna go into Big Bear Casa OS I'm going to uh, go to apps. I'm going to uh, go to Codex Docs right here. And then we will need to run this command, but I'll get to that later. So I'm going to go to Docker Compose. And um, so I'm going to explain it. So the configuration name for the Casa OS is Big Bear Codex Docs. And this name will be used inside of the uh, volume the dynamic variable, the app ID right here. So now I'm going to set some services. The service underneath the service is called app. And then if you notice, you scroll down to main right here. Uh, this lines up with this one because it needs to. So now I'm going to set an image. It'll be getting off of GitHub or a, a, repo a repository for Docker. And then codex team and then codex.docs. The, the tag will be version 2.1. And um, I'm going to set some po uh, ports. On the host side is 3000. And the container is 3000. Now if this does collide. Uh, uh, normally Casa OS will let you know. And let you change it. So um, now I'm going to go to volumes right here. So on the host side is the uploads a volume. So data, app data, and then the dynamic variable that it will get this name from here. And then I'll put in uploads. 
And then in the container is USR source app uploads. You cannot change this side at all. You can change this side if you'd like to change it when you install it. So now data, app data, uh, the dynet variable, and then DB, and then USR source app DB is in the cont container. And um, now data, app data, and the dynamic variable, and then codex doc uh, config dot local dot yaml. We will be uh, creating this ourselves, and then U usr source app docs config dot yaml. So this is on the container side, and this is on the 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 host side. Now I'm gonna set some cost OS specific configuration. So the architectures of what the Docker uh, can, can support is AMD64 and ARM64. The main lines up with this service. So it attaches the web UI to this service right here. The app, I'm gonna set a description. I'm gonna set a tagline. And the developer, the author of the Docker Compose, and the icon that will be used and the thumbnail, the title, and this is all inside of the App Store, and the category set, so we can actually organize the Big Bear Casa OS and know that came from the store, is the category right here. And then the port map is aligned with this one right here, the, the, the host. So the port map is 3000, and on the host is 3000, and the container is 3000. So, that's a little bit about the Docker Compose and what you'll be installing. So before we can even uh, install Codex Docs uh, from the App Store on BigBearCost OS, we need to create the Docs uh, config. So I'm gonna go to copy Codex Docs and I'm starting on Big Bear Scripts. And um, there will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. So copy Codex Docs config and then I'm gonna to go to run.sh. So the default URL to getting the docs is this one. It comes off of GitHub. And then I'm gonna ask the user for the URL. If for some reason you don't wanna use this one and you have another URL. And then if the user did not enter a URL, then we'll start with the default URL, which is this one. I'm gonna uh, set the default destination. So data, app data, big bear, codex docs, and then codex docs config dot local dot yaml. And then I'm gonna ask the user uh, for the de a destination path if they have another path that they want to use. And then if the user uh, did not enter a path, I'm gonna set the default a destination path, which is this one in the adest uh, uh, variable. And then I'm gonna create the directory if it doesn't exist. So the directory and then make directory. And then I'm going to use curl to download the file. Uh, I'm gonna da I download it to the destination and then I'm gonna use the URL up here. And um, I'm gonna check if the operation was successful. If it was, then I'm gonna say file co copied, co copied successfully to destination. And then if it wasn't successful, I'll say copy, uh, a file co a copy failed. So now I'm going to go run this because we need to run it before we even press the install button. So now that I've explained the copy script, I'm gonna go back into Big Bear Casa OS. I'm going to go to apps, and then I'm gonna go to codex docs right here. And then I'm going to copy this command right here that's using the Big Bear scripts. And I'm gonna go over to my terminal for Casa OS and run this. So now I'm over in my terminal for Casa OS and I'm going to paste the bash command in to run the copy codex docs config. And I'm going to run it by return or enter. And then Enter the URL, the default URL is set here, so I'm not gonna enter a URL, I'm gonna go to the default one, return or enter, and then enter the destination path. I'm gonna go with the default destination path, it's data, app data, big bear, codex, config, and then codex, config, config, dot, local, dot, yaml. 
and I'm going to return or enter to go with the default one. It's going to say file co co copied successfully to this path right here. So let's see if it did work. So I'm going to cut it out. And here you go. It's worked. And we have the config installed. So now we can go ahead and install Codex Docs in the Casa OS using Big Bear Casa OS. So now that we got the config all in there, and uh, I'm going to go to App Store. I'm going to go to Big Bear Casa OS. I'm going to scroll down to Big uh, Codex Docs right here. I'm going to click it. And then I'm going to press install. What this is doing is it's downloading the background. Starting up with Docker uh, Compose. And then we can see that it did successfully start up. Because this isn't grayed out. And it's saying open it. So we can get to explaining the container options now. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it. And it greatly supports this channel. And I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now I'm going to go over to Codex Docs right here. And it says new. So, I'm going to go to these vertical dots. And you can open the UI. You can set some tips. So, this is like a notepad. So, I'm going to say testing. I'm going to press the save button right here. And you can see that a Docker container uh, restarted. And it says it's okay now. So I'm going to go back into tips and see if it saved. It did save. So now you can go into settings. And you can change some things in here. And then press the save button. And um, uh, down here, it has the file in it. So it's directing to doc, uh, docs. Uh, a dash config.yaml and then uh, that's a volume and um, so you can go over to terminal logs and you can see uh, logs over here and it's running on port 3000 you can see and you can go back to terminal and you can have a full terminal and access to the actual docker container I'm going to exit this you can export the docker compose file right here and this will be formatted for Casa OS. I'm going to go backwards by exiting. And um, now you can check for updates on the current tag. And now you can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So that's a little bit about the container options. So now I'm going to show you how to see your files that are uh, ge generated from the volumes. So I'm going to go in the files app. I'm going to go to app data and then Big Bear Codex docs right here. And then you can see your uploads. You can see your config. And you can see your DB. So you can go backwards. You can check mark this. You can download, copy, cut, delete, and cancel. You can also go over here and download copy path. Rename, cut, copy, share, and delete. So, that's how to see the files and e edit them. So now, I'm going to go into the UI. So, I'm going to go open. And now, you can create a page. So, my first page is going to be Big Bear Home. And I'm going to save. You can see it over in the left bar now. So, you can go add another page. And you can put it underneath the Big Bear Home. And you can put... Big Bear Casa OS, and I'm going to save, and now it's under the Big Bear Home right here. So I'm going to create another top level page over here. So I'm going to have it in a root. I'm going to do testing and then save changes. And now I got a top level uh, doc right here. So I'm going to um, search. So now if I search home, it's going to bring up only Big Bear Home over here. You can also um, go into Big Bear Cost OS, go to Edit, and you can add more underneath here. So, um, testing, and then you can add a uh, text, heading, image, link, code, list, delimiter, 
a table, a warning, a checklist. You can use raw HTML. So you can just add a warning here and test warning and then testing. Okay, now I'm going to save it. And now you can see that it created the CSS for that. And um, so that's about Codex uh, Docs and how to get it working on Casa OS you, you, you using Big Bear Casa OS. So I just went over step by step on installing Codex Docs on Casa OS using Big Bear Casa OS, which is a third party app store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go in the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.